Here we go. Ready? Oh, he's better than me. Yeah. The next process in me doing these curves on this um, Bombay Secretary is that I need to plane the inside of this curve. Just imagine this is the, the side. And I need to plane the inside of this curve the long way. So what I what I decided that I was going to do was try to make a plane that was going to have the same curve as the uh, pattern inside here. So it would be easy for me to remove the material <coughs> inside the, um, the, the case. So um, I ended up just having an old wooden plane around my shop and uh, Steve and I got to thinking and talking and you know we decided that it would probably be best if I could retrofit a plane to that to this like um, curve and then it would be easy to keep you know the it would be easy to plane the inside of it and keep it flat otherwise it, it would be really difficult to try to take two lines on either side of the board and remove that material and keep it flat over two feet without having a plane. So what I did was I took a plane, I flattened it, right, on the jointer, well just re-flattened it, this was pretty flat to begin with, and I I made a pattern, just a little pattern on a cardboard, I basically took the pattern, to, uh, the the boss pattern, and I, I just traced it, and I cut it off with my X-Acto knife. And now I'm just going to transfer this line onto the pattern, uh, onto the, um, <coughs> the, the plane. So I have it like this, and you can see how much material I need to remove off the plane. And I did the same from the front to the back. Now it's just going to be a matter of time of me, you know, I don't even know if you can see this anymore. You know, I just have to put the plane in the clamp and plane it with a plane. <laughs> how many times can you say plane? So I get the, the plane and the vise, and I'm just going to remove that material until it has a a nice small radius on it <clears throat> and then after that and you can see that this thing is beat to death I've never even used this somebody gave it to me they thought it was a cool looking plane so what I need to do is I need to put a radius also on this you know and then clean it up and hog it and plane it and file it and there's a lot of work to do on this plane I right, so it's probably gonna take me the better part of the morning to do this plane but we'll see how it goes now ready all right Check it out. You see that I've, there's the plane and here's, see I flattened it and now it's the same as the curve of the uh, pattern all the way down. So now I'm ready and see like on this end down there, it just a, it's a little, you can see light through there. I wanted it to be that way so the, the corner of the plane iron won't keep smashing into the side of the case. So this radius wants to be a little, little tighter than this one so it's, it's not going to smash the sides of it, you know what I'm saying? So from here, I gotta stick the plane iron up through, draw the line on it, and start grinding it. But it's pretty sweet, huh, guys? Shit, out! Ah, yeah. <laughs> that was my knuckle. Youch! I see the line right there. I, I just didn't have to take the whole line off because I achieved it before I removed all that material. All right, so that wasn't that bad. The plane iron's gonna take some time, so I better get to doing it. I gotta tell you guys. Every time I go next to this, like near this tolmac, and I start to do something, I'm totally amazed at how quick and efficient it takes material off of a plane iron. Um, you can see now this plane iron, I have it to the to the radius, and it really took like 10 minutes, not even, I'm astonished. I thought it was going to take a long time. But now you can see that, you see how much material I need to take off of the, um, of the plane iron? You know, I can't sharpen anything with this, you know, obviously. It's like a scraper. But watch how fast and efficient that that machine takes down this, this iron. I mean, in no time at all. 
Now, if I was doing this on a grinder, there would be friggin' sparks flying, shit going everywhere, It'd be dangerous, you know, and I, and I wouldn't be able to bear down on it like I am with this Tormac. What's great about it is that it's, it's wet, so it's, it's a water stone, you know what I mean? And it just never gets hot. So you can aggressively take down this steel. Look at that. I mean, I barely talked for a minute, and look at it. That stuff's almost all gone. So I think in about 15, 20 minutes, I'll be able to get this thing down, flatten it, plane it, sharpen it, get a really good edge on it, and be able to use it. So uh, I'm totally pumped. This thing just saved me about four hours of my time. Some days I make a lot of money per hour, and some days I make shit. So, I don't know what I'm going to be making today, but we'll find out. But that's bad, man. I'm, I'm totally freaked out. Wait, I'm almost done. I don't know if you guys can see that. See how sharp that is? Not quite sharp enough to cut my hair off, but it's getting there. So I'm just going to keep going, do my thing, and get this thing perfect. That CD hasn't even finished playing yet, right? Watch this. This is unbelievable. I mean, this is just a crappy plane iron that I just cleaned up. Look at it. It's taking my hair off, guys. Can you see that? It's like a Gillette freaking razor. Wow. That is really, really awesome. I mean, really, if I had to do this with a grinder and a couple stones, it would have taken me a long, long time. That thing, 20 minutes. So, now I'm going to put the plane iron in the plane clean it up, figure it out, and uh, flip one of these boards over, just to see, check it out. Here are the boards that I'm working on. See, this this is the this is the curve. So I need this plane iron, see, to be that curve. So that's what I'm working on. And this is the beginning stages of those pieces. You saw me cutting them with the uh, table saw. This is it, man. Sweet. But I gotta, uh, there's a lot of work to do still, so. Let me get this plane iron in the plane, flip one of those bad boys over. I'll uh, get it running and I'll show you how it works. Alright? This is the plane iron I made. What it's going to do is it's going to just take that line. Come on in here, Rach. Just, you can see the line, right? See? It's not too aggressive. See, I'm getting closer and closer to the line. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a pretty awesome plane. Now, I mean, those guys must have had tons of these things. I Me, mean, uh, I'm really not equipped to do this stuff yet. I should probably buy a bunch of molding planes and everything, whatever. But this one works, you know? You kind of buy stuff as you need it or you build it as you go, you know? This part right here, it's still high. Th this is still a little proud from the, um, the pattern line. So I'm just getting it close. I'm getting all the dado marks out of it. So I go on one side, then I come on the other side, and I kind of do the same. Because I don't want to bust out this side, you know? So I just kind of get it down to the line on either side and then use my straight edge and flatten it out. But this is what I've been doing you know, for like a week. I started this, what, last Sunday, Rachel? Something like that. I started last Sunday, and now it's this Sunday. 